Good morning, no no. Are you having lunch? I'm dying. I'm dying. That looks yummy. Yeah. Daddy's having yogurt for lunch to eat up the non eaten kid yogurt. Yeah, there's two left and they go off today, so I'm like, oh, they're dead. Look how I'm going. You're going great. I'm riding with this thing. Harry! I don't know. That's the playing field, I think. Harrison! Harry Potter. I already know Harry Potter. Zoe's weird. How I put it right. It's always weird. <laughs> <laughs> it's always weird because she has toast but then puts them together. How I put it right. Harry! It's right in the gold bit. You need to show mum what you built. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I want this one has to be fixed. Is this the nighttime one? Yeah. Look. You can the there. Oh, yeah, it's too light in here. Wait, it's dark. But if you turn this on and then you turn off the light, it will be bright. Oh. Wait. Remember. See, now no, there's too much light from the window. No, no the truck's gone a bit. At the it bottom. is a little bit. Yeah, but look at it. needs light to glow. Look at the like back. It looks it so absorb cool. Absorb light or something. At the back of it. It's a pretty cool track, though, Harry. Yeah, at the look back of it, it's fine. just got this yellow thing. It's That's it. just a light. It's the color of the track. That thing looks on the front. That's how it. it's glowing. Good morning, beautiful. It's actually your morning nap. Hey? Already got up, had a bottle, got dressed. Hey? So we've just gone out to have a look at some display homes. We heard about Villa Cray, so I like to watch film them. Uh, to have a look at a few different options. Our issue with a lot of houses is bedrooms. This one isn't too bad, but... This one you just go one, two. Yeah, the other side's smaller though. This side? Yeah, it felt smaller anyway. Or is it different? It's bigger. Oh, maybe it's the... It's cause... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's, it's the bigger. wallpaper? I don't know. How it's furnished? Yeah. That's weird. Anyway. I'm not loving this one, but we've just come into another double story and it has this at the bottom of the stairs. I think it was self-explanatory that you had to watch the steps, but anywho. What can you do? You're just going to call people? Yeah. What was that? So dinner tonight we are having stir fry beef, beef and black bean, yep, that. You know what I meant. <laughs> Stephen, you're wearing your white Adidas shirt. Please don't spill anything on there. I never do. You always do, every time you wear that shirt. It's not spaghetti, it's not sugar. Well, this is what's for dinner. Look, we can do like we did for Zoe, for Nora's. We push it to the side. There you go. So today was a bit of a short vlog. We actually were at display homes for quite some time today and it was really hard to... Um, film this time because we had Olivia with us and we were carrying her so we didn't have to push pram because it was pointless pushing pram into the display rooms when um, there's stairs and stuff so um, we did that we had to obviously carry all the brochures and stuff that people kept giving us and in Australia you have to QR code everywhere you go um, so that if there's a case that goes into um, that building 
uh, then you have to go on 14 days uh, isolation pretty much I think pretty sure they're the rules of it I've never been I've been given up a message from Woolworths saying that I was in Woolworths during a t uh, during the day that um, someone went in there with a positive case but I didn't need to isolate but if I had any symptoms I had to get tested and isolate um, but if you I believe if you went into a display home and like the salesman um, or sales lady um, got COVID positive then you become a close contact so then you have to do 14 days at home pretty sure that's it I have no idea it changes every day that's my understanding of it um, and in shops and stuff it's pretty similar so um, just an outline of what we had to do so we went to like 20 different builders uh, so there was a lot of QR coding there I was so over it by the end um, and my phone wouldn't remember my like details you had to put it in every time and my name is spelled differently it's M-A-L so my phone always tries to change it even though it should realize that its owner is a different spelling but anyway um, so we went and had a look at houses today um, just to get some ideas on um, what different builders have for bedroom sizes and orientations so for us having two um, straight walls is better than having a wardrobe and a window on um, like an L they're really hard to orientate two beds in a room because um, we personally don't like beds flush up against a window we had that in our old house and we kept having issues with dampness and stuff in the uh, yeah anyway we just don't like it so we avoid it where we can um so yeah so that and the size um of the bedroom it's hard for me like eric will be like oh it's 2.9 meters or 3.5 and i'm like oh, i just can't visualize it so it was good to go through and visualize what type of room I want. Um, would it be better to have an open walk-in robe like the room that I showed you had an open walk-in robe or just to stick with our basic uh, wardrobe system. So, um, and then we got some ideas on dining room because we have a really long dining table. It's the one outside is our true dining table, not our camp table so um, they're things that I'm really wanting to perfect in our house um, and that sort of thing so yeah um, we are um, a lot of people have asked why we haven't just built um, for those not in Australia but in Australia you might not know but um, for anyone to get a mortgage is like I don't know it's like winning the lotto I swear in Australia so you have to have generally if you're in, in an odd income family or pretty much anyone at the moment it, it does actually change in March April of this year they've changed the banking rules so at the moment it's really hard so we would have to have 20% deposit so um, majority of houses in Australia in normal areas are between four and eight hundred thousand if I've done my research right in our area it's between six and seven hundred thousand is the houses that we're looking at the area that we're looking at building in our current area you're looking at one to 1.2 million so um, just to give everyone an idea of where we live sort of location and expense wise so um, yeah, Australia's very expensive in the housing market. I know my brother only paid like nothing, but like a car price for his house in America. But um, here it's quite expensive. Our land alone is going to be between be between three and four hundred thousand. That's just a land, and it's not even a large lot. Um, it's just a standard lot. So um, for those sort of looking at that, but even where. I don't know why that door's doing that. Um, even where we used to live, the land is at similar pricing at the moment because people are trying to get out of Melbourne and move to the country, which was just out of metropolitan Melbourne. So it's a little bit lower, about 50,000 lower than here, but we really want to stay in the metropolitan area. All our kids are coming up to university type age group, um, and we feel that the, that they would benefit from being here and being able to live at home so 
that's where we're trying to get with our house um, and that sort of thing so um, we are waiting and we are looking into ways to save up cash now because it just we, we go for a loan and um, it just doesn't work so now we're working towards just paying for it ourselves um, so we're trying to work out a budget and um, working out how to um, get there in easy steps for example um, if you were to put a deposit on a block of land in the estate we sort of like uh, the land doesn't title um, so you don't actually can't even start planning for 18 months so this is Eric's job as well so um, so if he sells a house to someone today the house um, if they are just brought land he has to wait 18 to 24 months to get his commission um, so that's how his work sort of works. So him having seven months off while COVID was going rampant in Melbourne was, or 16 weeks off, whatever that is, four months, I think it is. Um, it wasn't great. So we will have a massive like four month block where we have to budget to get over income wise. Um, anyway, furthermore, um, so we are saving up cash for our land first, obviously. But we also have to make sure we have enough to build the um, property within two years of settlement. So they're the rules in building new houses in, um, I'm pretty sure everywhere in Australia in a new development. Um, I think there's a very little in like really tiny country towns that you get away with it. I know a lot of people have said we should move to country towns and move to different areas. Um, we're not in the stage of our life where it's really um, we should be moving like Andrew's in year 12 she's last year of school Caitlin's in year 10 she's moved over to where they will stay now um, and yeah so and then Stephen will go straight after her and then they'll be like one after another go into year 12 so it's just not it's not worth it or not not worth it but it's not the time that we can look at moving interstate um school wise so um we have to make this work in this area um and we're willing to work hard to get the money and just pay cash for a house over time we will apply for mortgages and stuff if we can but um so far brokers have pretty much not even allowed us even with large deposits um, you know so we're just going to make do with what we have and go with that we will probably rent a bigger house between then but for now we save a lot more staying here um, and uh, this year it's our highest school bill so because we have 10 in private school for those don't know our kids are in private school so I really want to knuckle down on that bill and get it paid off and then start on saving for the house or a bit more on the house we already have a fund for it but um like where we start knuckling down and then we'll get next year's school bill and i'll do the same and so um that sort of thing but we are still for all the trolls out there we're still going to buy our kids presents and we're still going to go on holidays because we can't we feel that we can't stop our lives for that one thing um it's going to take years to do um so we've got our middle kids are pretty much they've gone on a holiday but they were babies when we went on holiday as in not a camping holiday as in an actual holiday to where we actually did something not just camped so um we're still going to do all that and we're going to have a balance in everything so so there are our goals for this year we also have to buy a new car we only buy cars with cash um which may end up not being the case this time because um, my van, well, so far it's only needed parts that wear. So once we start getting into the engine, we are really going to have to look at getting a new car. So, so far, touch wood, we have not had any engine issues. It has all been battery, um, like all the wiring to the car, not the wiring, the pipes, I don't know what they're called and the belts and all that got done the whole brake system got done that was that cost us a fortune um and it's air conditioner it needs doing when it finally cocks it but it is showing signs of dying as well but um for us they're wearing parts especially the battery they only last two or three years anyway 
but um other than that that is our plan for this year is to really knuckle down and save for a house um a car and we really want to go on another family holiday so um that is what we're going to do this year i know a lot of people have been asking for a, just a one video i actually made all these envelopes for cash envelopes which i used to do years ago and it worked really really well but um as i found out like the school uniform shop won't take cash costco won't take cash um a lot of businesses won't take cash toyota that fixes our car won't take cash um no one's taking cash woolies um like supermarkets are people are and like big w and target but other than that no one else is taking cash so um cash envelopes don't work if no one's taking cash so um, I'm trying to figure out a way to do that online and stuff like that but other than that I've been rambling for a long time now and um, but that is our idea on what we're going to do uh, it might not be what everyone else thinks we should do or that sort of thing but that is our plan and that's how we want to lead our life so thanks for watching guys like subscribe and comment below bye